What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Shay Renee, and we are back to talk about Summer House Season 8, Episode 4, Runaway Bride, okay? I decided to come on here and do a little quick little TikTok because this, this show, child, this episode was absolutely insane. Lindsay, baby, you, you ain't going to have to run away because um, you ain't going to be no bride. You see, the way that you're acting, you are treating Carl like he is your servant or like he is your B.I. Like you are not talking to this man with any type of respect. You are very disrespectful, okay? You are constantly accusing this man of using drugs. Like what is wrong with you? Girl, you ain't never going to... It seems like Lindsay gets to a certain mark in a relationships and becomes a in a relationship and becomes a terror she has done this in every single relationship she did it with the sandwich boy she did it with the whole situation with the first dude that she was dealing with on first season that's now married and ran away from her foolishness i think he married now i don't know don't quote me allegedly but y'all i don't know how carl hasn't left already this man has a, the patience of saints it's insane. And you are terrorizing the entire house, especially when Kyle and Amanda start realizing, hey, maybe we ain't as bad as we thought, okay? And Amanda rethinking whether she need to go to therapy, baby. Go, go on to the session now. I know you said you was PMSing, honey, but you go ahead and make, them, make, make the appointment because y'all need some help too. Help is on the way with the therapist. You need to talk to somebody because you're in denial, sis. You think that you are doing everything right and Kyle is just complaining a lot. He's overworking you, blah, blah, blah. Y'all are not on the same page as far as your finances and having children. I think that the method of how that's supposed to occur is so different in each one of y'all heads. It's not just you being a nurturing mom. Kyle is thinking about, okay, you nurturing the kids. I'm worrying about how we're going to pay the bills to take care of these children. So y'all... Stay on even playing fields and make sure that your relationship is actually going to continue to flourish because y'all already are married. So work on it while you can. Um, Gabby, I don't know how you are continuing to try to run interference between uh, Carl and Lindsay, but that has to be very, very tough. It has to be extremely tough. I mean, when Lindsay went in Gabby's room complaining about how she had just yelled at Carl outside, it was absolutely insane. Everybody in the house, even Amanda, everybody has had a conversation with Lindsay. Kyle even tried to tell her without screaming and, and going crazy in a conversation with her that, girl, it's you. It's you. You're the problem. Lindsay needs to go and deal with her abandonment issues. It's coming out in everything that she's doing. Additionally, I think Lindsay has a real problem with Carl not having a, a job or anything consistent that he's doing outside of Summer House. And I think that really bothers her. And I think that she's underestimating how much it really does bother her because she is just getting angry over stuff and then accusing him of things and you know first and foremost because he was the you were the one that he would go to whenever he was struggling and you were there for him in the past so now he's probably looking confused like man I decided to marry you because you were my biggest supporter you were my best friend you were there for me and now you are the main one pissing me the heck off like, you're not supporting me, and you're also accusing me of being an addict, and I am working my hardest to remain sober. And you might drive the man to drink. Mind you, Lindsay, I have said season after season, you sitting up there drinking around this man and then sucking him down and all this that and the other kissing him and all this that and the third having alcohol on your tongue and your lips, that's not a good idea either. He has a problem with you drinking. Carl, you need to be honest with Lindsay. You need to hold her accountable. And you've had a problem with that consistently over the past. You've let it ride so much with the babe this, babe that. Y'all so in love. She supports me. She was the one that was there for me with my brother and this, that, and the third. And I get it. But I think that you have swept the things that you don't like about Lindsay 
under the rug so far and so deep that ain't no type of hoover gonna clean that up for you at this point. And Danielle, baby, um, be quiet. I don't even know why you felt like you needed to be the mother hen to come over there and try to solve their problems. You did the right thing by minding your business, but you shouldn't have even wanted to interfere at this point because none of this that has none of this has anything to do with you. There is nothing that you can do to help them or assist them in moving forward in their relationship. You were the biggest issue they had last year because you're you're hating behind couldn't be happy for them. So this is just a way, Danielle is probably excited on the inside that things are not going right. You think you're slick. I don't trust you far as I can throw you. Now, here we go with Sierra and West. West, don't kiss and tell, baby. We see it on the TV screen. Don't go back telling everybody, ooh, we kissed with tongue, we doing this. You ain't gonna get no further than that. If you out here telling everybody your business, just just get to know Sierra and and learn that black women ain't going to jump in no pool because we ain't trying to mess our weave up. And Sierra, that weave already messed up. I, you need to take that out. You need to do something else. OK, I, I don't I don't like that. It's it's it, it's looking a little weary. OK, and I know if you jumped in that water, it was going to make it worse. OK, and a uh, new guy that I keep forgetting your name, uh, baby, don't be hitting on Paige. Paige is not it. Leave her and her broad shoulders alone, okay? Let her be off into the sunset with Craig. Ain't nobody got time for that. We don't, we don't need no problems with you trying to poach Paige, putting your hand up on her hip, and you dip, you, we dip. You did. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, Pam. No, sir. Leave Paige alone, okay? But Carl and Lindsay, um, do not pass go. Do not collect $100, $200. I am so glad that y'all did not get married. If y'all decide to get back together, that y'all need to do some major work. Lindsay, you need to accept responsibility for your actions and stop being a terrorist. You need to examine your abandonment issues. You need to be honest with Carl that you feel like he's not contributing financially to your lifestyle. And you're probably um, having some feelings about that. You're feeling like, damn, I'm about to marry somebody that is not helping me at all. Like, I feel like everything is on my shoulders. I'm always the one that's your backbone, but you're not doing anything to cover me. And I feel you on that. But be honest about that, not coming out and just gaslighting the hell out of him and making it seem like it's his fault. And you're not accepting responsibility for anything that is tragic. And Carl, kudos to you for not walking down that aisle with her because, baby, you was about to be miserable. But thank you all for watching. Please, please, please don't forget to like this video. Go ahead and follow me if you already haven't on the Tiki Talk. And if you don't follow me on YouTube, go on over there because this video is going to be over there too. And hit that subscribe button while you're at it. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.